All right, Grandma, this is the tour. First, before we start, this is the house, but I'm gonna show you Craig and Melissa's. So this is Craig and Melissa's house, and it's awfully pretty. That's not the best side of it, though. So I'll walk down here real quick. <clears throat> I'll let them send you a good video, but here's at least what their house is looking like. So it's really pretty. All right, let's walk towards ours. So not too far. <clears throat> so you can't see, but this on top of the porch is a metal roof and it is green. And this siding is supposed to be gray but some days it looks green to me, and today it looks very blue, but it's technically a gray, dark gray. So we had a little bit of a sidewalk poured the last couple days, so that was a big deal. Porch goes all the way around. Now maybe not all the way around, but it goes around. That's the side. So we will walk in. To our giant front door. So in here, we're gonna have, we've got a little bit of a vestibule. So it's kind of hard to see. But just like a little entryway that is blocked off so that you can separate the space a little bit. So you'll come in and then this is the living room. So this is the kitchen over here. So we'll have cabinets along the wall there, of course. And then this is the living room. You can see the fireplace here. So our flooring guys made a lot of progress. He's doing really well. He's got Another day or so left. So these are the kids' bedrooms. So this is the bedroom where we found the turtle last time around. So nice high ceilings and a good closet. There's a hallway with a little linen closet here. And then another kiddo's bedroom. All the kids' bedrooms are about the same size, so hopefully they don't fight too much over which one they get. And here, kind of hard to see because it's dark in here, but we've got a bathroom. And then the final kid's bedroom is here. Nice little view of the woods back there. <clears throat> All right. So, like I said, this is the kitchen. We'll have an island right here. So those pipes are four. And then, you know, cabinets all along this base wall until right about there. The refrigerator will go over there. And over here is our pantry. So again, kind of hard to see, but we've got storage space and it goes back to that wall. So we've got some space in there for that. Here is a little bathroom. So we'll have a sliding door here, pocket door here, little uh, sink and toilet. And then if you go through there, it's just a little extra storage closet with another sliding door. So kind of hard to see unless you back up, but basically just a place to put mops and vacuum cleaners and things like that. <clears throat> We're gonna have a little bench here to put our boots and shoes and a hook for book bags. And then this 
is Charity's favorite room. This is the laundry room. So big place to put laundry. So we'll have washer and dryer here and some cat or not some, yeah, some cabinets with a countertop along the wall there and a couple of upper cabinets here. Um, we'll put our big freezer there and then you, know, you got a lot of natural light. You can see Craig and Melissa's house from here. It's really pretty right now. Cedar trees. And then in here is the garage. A really nice big garage. And utility closet there for water heater and things like that. Big garage. And then around the corner is, if I can get this screw out with one hand, maybe. There we go. This is our back patio. So a nice big patio where you can we'll put a barbecue grill and all the good stuff here. A spot up there. And those nice big windows. And then if you walk past this tree here and then go around it, um, that's the path to mom's house. So mom just lives right out there. So lots of Lots of trees, lots of privacy, so that'll be nice in the back. <clears throat> and I don't know how to get the garage door open with one hand or I would show you the driveway, but I might be able to do that some other way. But we have a big, 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 nice 30 by 30 concrete pad as well. So let me walk through here. Now we can go upstairs, upstairs. This is kind of our bonus second living room. So we've got a nice big room up here, pretty high ceilings. So we're probably gonna put a projector or a TV on the wall, something there. So just a place for the kids to hang out. And we've got a, a stand-in shower here. We'll have a toilet there and a sink. We've got a couple skylights. Give it some light. And then here, we've got another spare bedroom. So we'll have a spare bedroom with a skylight, a small closet. And then this is just a storage room here. So we'll put all of our stuff up here that we need. So, but we've got a nice window in case we need to escape. <laughs> All right. And the last thing is the master, the master bath bedroom. So this will be Charity in my bedroom. Nice big bedroom. Good windows on either side. We'll be able to see folks coming. This is our closet. And we built it with, kind of hard to see, but it's got concrete walls. So this is all concrete. So we can use it as a storm shelter as well. So. We've got, uh, got a tornado room in case there's a tornado. And then this is the master bathroom. They put, Charity and Jesse put on some waterproofing on the floor for the tile that they're gonna try to install today. That's the shower. And we'll have a big bathtub here with a nice window to look out, so. And then that's where the toilet will be and we'll have cabinets all along this wall. I think that's pretty much it. It's coming along. By this time next week, the flooring will be done. And uh, Charity's dad is going to come help put the trim on the doors. So I don't think I mentioned, but we'll also have cabinets on either side of this. And this is the, this is the fireplace hiding back there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but 
use the fireplace. So, all right. We love you.